Okay, so spoilers about the Pillars of the Earth. I like how it feels like anyone could die at any time. I was pretty surprised when Tom Builder died, and I actually did think that Jack died. You know, when... I mean, I was really surprised when he opened his eyes there in the pile of bodies, you know. I mean, right leading up to that, I kind of saw where it was going, but before that, I thought he was dead when we saw him... Yeah. Uh, Choked to unconsciousness, I guess. One thing, excuse me. Did did his hand heal really rapidly? I mean, he was told that if he didn't rest his hand for a month, it would break and he would never be able to use it again. Big dramatic moment, and then he uses it, and it works fine after that. That was a little bit of a letdown. I really don't buy that Lady Hamley, Walter's mother, the incestuous one, that she could push that tub of priest, or was he bishop, whatever, man of God, all the way over, I mean, the... the thing she pushed him over was about, you know, it was up to, like, maybe their midsection or something. He was about as tall as her. He had a lot of pounds on her. I'm not saying he should have fought more. I'm saying she could not have lifted him like that by herself. They did it for dramatic effect, of course, but I wish they had gone with something else because that really wasn't very credible. I really don't believe that Jack could speak enough French to get by in a job that requires a lot of communication. I can accept that Aliena knew French well enough to get by, because she was a noble woman, I don't know. So she would have been taught, but Jack knew. Where would he have learned anywhere near enough? to, yeah. It was kind of like the whole thing with finding the family didn't really lead to anything. I mean, that really wasn't the big reveal that made them realize what exactly went on. It just told them, oh, hey, there's something weird about this white ship that you know, wrecked. That's a phrase. That's a verb. And, I mean, it was when she found that letter, which, of course, she couldn't possibly have found earlier, Ellen. I kind of liked... Remigius, I think his name was, when we found out what his deal was. You know, we, we knew from early on, you know, he was... He had committed sodomy, so... You know, and Waylon had heard his confession, and then now he could reveal it, you know, because that's the danger of something like that. Confession, not sodomy. And then, you know, the lines about what was so wrong about our love. We were happy together. You know, that that was really good. Not entirely sure it completely worked because he was so creepy up until that point. I think it might have been a little bit good if we'd seen just some more guilt from him, but... I'm not, also not entirely sure if I would really say that we ever really saw Steven show any guilt or remorse. 
He was worried it would be found out, but other than that... Walter, on the other hand, was very clearly tormented by... You know, I mean, he rapes Aliena because she insults him. You know, and that it, it damages his pride, and he's a mother's boy, quite obviously. So, you know, he tries to destroy her, and then the next time, she's still there. She, he hasn't destroyed her, so he tries to burn her. And it's, you know, he's trying to deal with his own guilt. You know, if, if she isn't alive anymore, maybe he won't feel so guilty about having raped her. You know, and that whole thing. And, of course, he hates women, because that's what happens when you have too strong an attachment to your mother, you know. And this is an age-old story. The mother can't let go of her son. And she clearly loves her son more than her husband or anyone else, really. And the, the tears in her eyes when, he hear, when she hears that, you know, the... Elizabeth, I think her name was, was being raped. You know, it was like... You just know that the real... The problem for her is that he's with another woman, you know. Wailerin was... I don't know, I suppose maybe he was... credible enough. You know, with the whole thing with him whipping himself, you know, that might have been, like how he dealt with all these lofty goals, these ambitions of his. You know, that and, you know, telling himself that it was God's will. It was maybe a little corny that her curse of him was that literal, you know, the, you will go very high up, and then fall very far down. And I guess Walter did hang. But that was the only kid that Walter's father had, so your children will, you know, the gallows. Yeah, I guess, sort of. Did Walter use that little doll to choke his mother, like, stuff it in her mouth? It, that, it was a little... I couldn't quite tell exactly what was going on there. For... all of Jack's sounding and enunciating and at times really looking like Christian Bale, there at the end when he has you know, that bit of a beard, that was maybe when he looked the most like Christian Bale. I mean, even though the color was a bit off, obviously, that really made me think of Bale. That might be more or less it. I did kind of like that she was sort of a witch, sort of maybe a witch or not, uh, Ellen. And really good staging on her cursing the marriage. You know, we don't, we, we see her as, you know, she's not part of the group of people, she just comes from, you know, She's standing out, and we don't see the chicken until she slices the throat, and the blood splatters on his face. Did it actually work, though? Was he actually impotent? I mean, he tried that first night, and his complaint was that she was lying still. It wasn't that he couldn't, you know... The raunchiness of several of the males is probably also quite accurate. Very crass 
time, very brutal time. You know, all the jokes about genitalia and banging. And I think that does conclude our broadcast for today. So, yes. Those are my thoughts on Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.